Hey guys, I'm back with another video. This video is about the top 5 cars that have depreciated a ton over the last few years. These are all recent cars, fairly recent, and they're all like luxury or sports cars, cars that you would want that now you can actually afford. Number 5 is the Maserati Quattro Porte, the 2004, I believe, to 2009 or 10 generation. They're originally about $105,000. But since then, you can get a used one for around 20 grand. The cheapest ones are like 17 grand, and some of the nice ones are like 40 grand. But for 20 grand, you can get a nice Maserati Quattro Porte, even though you'll have to pay a ton extra in repairs over the next year, but it's still a Maserati. Number four is the Aston Martin DB7. When it was new, the car was around 100 grand, $100,000, and now it's dropped down to about a quarter of that, $24,000 for an average one, which is a pretty good deal for an Aston Martin. Number three is the Maserati Coupe. It started at around $80,000 back in the early 2000s, and now it's dropped down to about 15 k I personally don't really like them. I think they're super ugly. And they're kind of slow too, but they sound really good, and they're still a Maserati for 15000 which is like the same price as a Dodge Dart. Number two is the Bentley Turbo R. When they were first introduced, they were around $195,000 US dollars, and now you can find one for twenty k. and the cheapest one I could find was $13,000, which is insanely cheap compared to the original $200,000 Axe King price. The reason it's so cheap is because of the repair costs though, so if you ever decide to buy one, be sure you budget a ton of extra money for those maintenance and repairs. Number one is the Rolls Royce Phantom. The early Phantoms, like 2004 models, are around $83,000 used, which may not seem like a very good deal because it's still very expensive, but you have to remember that this car is only about 10 years old, it still has a ton of tech. And they originally started around $300,000, and they could get really expensive with options. So $83,000 is a huge price difference off of that, and it's a pretty good deal. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. I gained about 8 subs over the last 2 days, so thanks to all of you who subbed. I'm really excited. Um, just see you in the next video, I guess. Bye.